my name is Nicola Gargano, I'm from uh, Italy and my nickname is uh, Alico and uh, I'm a data lover. Uh, I don't work in Joomla, I work in a um, mainframe uh, so bank software environment, um, but I like open source project. How um, many of you already know what is a JSON? Everybody knows? Cool. So, it is a lightweight, lightweight format to, uh, to interchange data. It's easy for human to, to read and, uh, and, and write, even to the machine. Uh, oh. <laughs> Some technical problem. Um. Uh. How, how is made a JSON? Uh, a JSON value can be made by a string, a number, an object, an array, a true and false, and null. Array and object can be nested. So you can create very complex objects. You can represent very complex objects with this uh, simple syntax. I think uh, all of you know what a relational database management system is. Uh, these are the, the most famous, most used the databases yeah. MySQL, PostgreSQL, SQL Server, <coughs> Oracle, and DB2. I think in Joomla we have uh, um, all, all the drivers for this kind of database. I think all of you use MySQL and someone use PostgreSQL in Joomla? No? Of course. <laughs> okay. Um, relational databases are, are based upon the relational model, it's based upon the relational algebra, it's made upon Tables. Table, a relationship between tables. Uh, it's quite familiar, the concept of primary key and foreign key. For you, it's familiar this concept, okay? Uh, so, I, I don't want to spend too much time about which is a relational model. I know, I, I, I hope you know exactly. But this is a, a Joomla conference. So, how many of you know the, uh, the statistic plugin? Okay. Are you using it? Are you sharing your data? Okay. So this uh, simple plugin um, try to, to, to send data to uh, <coughs> um, a Joomla server uh, to, to, uh, to have uh, uh, better information about our user base. This simple information is collected uh, anonymously and are about which kind of PHP version you, you are using, which kind of uh, database type you are using, which kind of CMS version you are using. And, and, and some other information uh, like, the, like that. Uh, we have uh, um, a, statistic, a statistic API where we collect this data and we made available. If you go at uh, the bottom URL, you can find um, a, a response is like a, a JSON like that. When you can see where, where you can see uh, the object uh, PHP version and the values that they are they are in, in, per, in percentage. This is, this kind of information is very useful to for the developers for the core team to know uh, um, where our user base are, we, which kind of MySQL version are using, which kind of CMS uh, CMS version is used, uh, which kind of uh, uh, the B type. Uh, I'm just. Uh, um, Hack the, the post green numbers because I like post greens, but it's 0, 0.0 something. So, <laughs> okay. So, if, if you, if you uh, <coughs> um, query the, uh, the, the statistic API, um, <laughs> this is uh, an endpoint to get all information about CMS version. You can make some, some kind of uh, post elaboration about this data, and you can know how our user base are. Ah, this data is not so updated, I think it's something like uh, one month ago, but it's quite realistic and you can query the, the API endpoint and you see the actual numbers that we have. <coughs> um, normally, if you are developers, one of the main requirements that your boss uh, uh, told you, we need to do, to, to do software that adapt for future usage without additional programming, without additional code, because this is a cost. Uh, sorry. 
So I want to, to try uh, to, to make a, um, a work with you now. now. <coughs> we, we, we need to extend our statistical API to let collect uh, more information, maybe about what, which kind of extension we are, we are, we, our user base are, are, are using, which kind of uh, templates and stuff like that. So what can be one common approach nowadays to use? Uh, a common approach could be use a documented oriented database, which is like MongoDB. Someone of you knows MongoDB? Yeah. So uh, basically uh, MongoDB stores JSON. So, we <coughs> so in the relational database is a record on, on a table. A document is the equivalent on the, the, on the document-oriented uh, world. <coughs> um, I, I work in uh, my frame environment, so the, the big eye, the old side of information technology. And uh, someone of you may know already Fred Brooks, is uh, one of the uh, Turing Award winner. Um, and this is my favorite quote from him because I'm really addicted about data. So he, he used to say, show me your data, show me your tables, and I don't need to know your code, your flowchart. You know, flowchart is uh, something that is still used or not, or it's something that, about the past. Something about the past. Okay, so to, to answer uh, to Fred, we, we, can, we can think uh, at some kind of this table to collect the information from the API. And quite a simple table. We can have uh, some, uh, one field for store the PHP version, one field for the, the, the version, one field for CMS version. But if we need to, uh, to store more data, and at the same time, we don't, we don't have clearly what kind of data we need to store, we need to, to find a solution for this problem. Uh, one of the common, common solutions can be simply add at the table some extra fields for future usage. It's quite simple. Oh, so let's try to evaluate a bit this uh, same solution. It's good for because you don't need another table. In some environment, another table is very costly uh, operation. And sometimes if you are in a, in, in a live environment, you have to do this very with, um, with more, more attention. But it's a quite simple solution for start. What are the bad things? If we have added only three fields and we need to manage more than three, for example five, we need to do again another table. Uh, another problem that this solution may have Columns don't have a descriptive name. So, it, <coughs> what, what kind of information is stored on extra field 2, for example? Uh, some, some, kind, some information may lose in time. Uh, another bad thing is that you don't have a, a match of data type because you are declared like a Varsha. Imagine for, for, for one moment that we, we need to store uh, an integer in field 3. So we need to make some cast. It's not the appropriate da data type for that field. <coughs> um, how, how many of you have used Magento? Okay. Um, another way to, uh, to try to extend, uh, <coughs> to extend the, your, your data collection <coughs> is to create an, an additional table as called uh, the, this, this pattern is called entity attribute value. Uh, it consists simply in create a new table with three fields and the foreign key pointing to the main table, to the main statistic table. Just to make you uh, let you understand what I'm trying to, to tell you, uh, look at this simple query. For example, we, we want to collect uh, a template which kind of template a, a, a site is, uh, uh, is using. How many users uh, uh, have that site? Uh, what kind of strange rating concept? Maybe it can be an, uh, an <coughs> useful information. 
and maybe we can connect, we can collect uh, data about speed, how, how much time uh, the home page takes to load. <coughs> okay, this is quite cool. Um, just uh, uh, one note. We are storing each attribute in, in one row, not in a column. So, if we, with this kind of table, we, we want to have this information in a row, we need to make a, a, a very strange query. We need to, to, to do um, a strange join like, th like that. Uh, are you comfortable with this query? Yeah, okay. If you notice, uh, I need to use one join per attribute. So imagine if you have to manage 10 attributes, 100 attributes, imagine this query how can become complex. You can also do group concat. Right? Sorry? You can also do group concat. Yes, but group concat is quite very uh, particular for MySQL. It's a, a, like a dialect for MySQL. So I try to stay a little bit, for now, a little bit abstract. <coughs> Um, so, um, yes, w with this solution, uh, we not, don't, don't need more to alter table because we have made some, some kind of da dynamic model to manage w w whatever number of attributes we need to manage. It's quite a well-known solution. You can find uh, on, on the internet a lot of papers that are talking about this kind of pattern. Uh, maybe someone knows this pattern like an anti pattern. The bad thing is, query can become really, really complex. You don't have constraints about data. And you cannot have good indexes about this data. Um, do you know this man? Okay. This is my favorite quote about him. Bad programmers worry about code, good programmers worry about data structure and their relationships. I'm a bad programmer, but I like data. Do, I, do you agree with this uh, quote? Yes? No? Maybe? Maybe. Okay. So, <clears throat> um, we, we need to care about more about data modeling. So, one other solution which we can have if we know before to start uh, what kind of data we need to manage, the, the simple thing we, we can do is try to model it in, in using a very dedicated table for which kind of information we need to store. Just for example, if we need to store information about components, we can simply create a new table storing information about components. Obviously, with our reference key for the, the principal table, for the statistic, for the stats table, the same things we can do with the plugins. The same. The good of this kind of solution is, is that we, we can have common fields, but we can have specialized fields for um, proper needs. Just for example, for template, we can add, for example, a field to store which kind of uh, JavaScript framework <coughs> this template is using, and, and, and some other stuff like that. So, uh, which is the, the good part of this solution? That is quite simple. If you need to model something more, you just simply add another table. And you have a possibility easy it's quite easy to query this, this table because we, we are using a relational database management system. So we can make a relation between tables. Which is the bad aspect? Yeah, we need to manage more tables. And we need to write more code. Uh, you have some other uh, points that you have, uh, you, you can uh, talk with me about this? We still have large numbers of joints, right? Sorry? We still have a large number of joints. Yes. But they are a little bit more simple because we can use foreign key. So using foreign key is uh, uh, even something that uh, can um, uh, uh, up your performance. Uh, yes, the, the problem is that we need to manage more code. Uh, there is another approach that, that we can use in the journal end. 
Uh, if you remember how the asset table is, is made, uh, I want to point your attention about the rules fields. If you read the, the comment about this field, it, it states uh, JSON encoded access control. So, which is this? It's a large object and you, you can store uh, whatever you want. So, it's a JSON. And we are using, we are declaring the, 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 this, this data like a bar chart, like a, a big block of data. Which is uh, the good thing about this? We can store in that field whatever we want. We, we can add custom fields at any time. We don't have a problem. We, we, we are using a block. We can put here whatever we want. We can change in time. Ah, the bad thing is that this kind of data are not indexable. So again, this is bad performance. And if you need to make some filter conditions, some work condition about this data, it's quite hard. Because you need to use or some regular expression or you, you need to, to use some light operators and performance really bad. Uh, you know Joomla better than me, so I have some opinion about this solution in Joomla. I think that this is because we don't need to uh, make any words. So we only want to collect the whole data. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. okay. and there is also a legacy problem that, that when we do not use JSON type of field, then uh, Joomla can work with older version of databases. Yes, yes. Uh, I promise this is the latest course, and I don't <laughs> bore you with other quotes. Um, this is one book I, I started <coughs> to read. Yeah, it's about uh, Eric Raymond, he's uh, an open source guru, I think. And uh, the, this quote let, let me reflect a little bit. A smart data structure and dumb code works better than the other side, than the other way. Do you agree? Please stand your up with yes. No? It's dumb and very dumb. Sorry? It's dumb and very dumb. <laughs> ah, the problem is, in my opinion, that uh, people uh, uh, care much more about code and not about data. So uh, I try to, to stress in this session about think, please think even to data and please model data correctly. Depending upon which kind of application you need to manage, which kind of data you need to manage. But uh, I want to, to, to talk about this. Uh, from from uh, um, maybe some kind of a couple of years ago, uh, all kind of data, uh, most user relational database management system uh, lets you to use uh, a JSON data type natively in database. Uh, but we need to make some. Uh, uh, some uh, uh, oh. I need to want you point your attention to some, some that kind. My SQL and PostgreSQL, for example, are quite the same, but they have different way to implement things. So, the problem is with JSON is a quite a new, a new, a new thing that there is not a, a, a common standard. But I think we, we, we better know my secret. So, from now and, and on, I, I will focus uh, on, only on my SQL. Uh, this is a, a Simple instruction to create a table with a JSON field. Simple declaration. It's like any normal fields in, in, in database. It's like an integer, it's like a, a bar chart. Simple declaration. We can obviously put a JSON data in that table. And we can select this data from that table. Simply. Quite simple. <coughs> JSON is uh, quite a different beast. <laughs> um, you can produce JSON value. 
simply with, with the scene query. We can create a JSON object. We can create an array object. We can create, obviously, two, now false. I want to point your attention about string. Because for the false, string are quoted, are uh, saved with quotes. And this is an important aspect that you, you need to know. Because for me, it's quite strange. My, my approach to JSON, when you see this thing, I say, oh, this is strange. So I, I, I want you to have attention to this point. Uh, in MySQL, to manage, the, to manage JSON, we have a, um, uh, MySQL have introduced a lot of functions, of JSON functions. I think this is one of the uh, functions you must use to, if you, you manage JSON data. But if you came, like me, from the, the ancient world, from the relational world, uh, it's some, some kind of strange thing. Is an what is an object? It is an array. <coughs> In a relational world, the whole time, there is no concept about object and array. Um, so, if you want to, to start the, the strip, uh, I recommend you to go to the, um, the MySQL sites where there is a full documentation about a lot of functions uh, to, to manage JSON data. There are, I think, uh, more than 50 uh, functions. I, we don't have the time to analyze each function, but I just want to make some examples from some, some kind of thing that I think if you start from relational database, may have some different, com some different concept. Um, so, how we can produce a JSON array? Ah, simply using a function. How we can produce a, an object? Yeah, with a JSON object function. We, we, we pass data, and if we retrieve, this is the, 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 re, the result we, we, we can get. It's quite simple. But, JSON are quite complex objects. We can, we can construct a very complex structure. So, uh, how many of you are familiar with JavaScript? JavaScript? Yeah, okay. So, do you know this kind of JSON part? So, it's a way to assess data whenever deep is nested. That's quite cool. Uh, at, at the start, something is something that uh, it's quite hard to understand if you are not that familiar with, with JavaScript, but if you play a little bit, it's not so strange. It is meaningful, yes, yeah, 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 it is quite uh, understandable. And if you are run any problem like me, I can recommend this website uh, where you can put in your JSON object and you can uh, put your JSON syntax to test if you are correctly pointing the, the, the specific attribute, the specific, the, the specific value that you, you need to manage. It's quite cool, so you could simply uh, uh, pass your uh, JSON data upon the, that side, and you can uh, 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 write your uh, JSON path expression, and you'll see the result. Uh, I, I really recommend you if you want to, to, to start this straight about data. Uh, so I told you that the strings, the JSON string are managed is quite strange. Uh, these are three, three different ways to express the same thing. Uh, just some word about the JSON extract function. Well, my call is uh, the, the column that is declared like a JSON. And the second parameter is the JSON path expression to point that data. So uh, the first one is uh, if you want to write it in a, a function way. The second one is a mix. And the third, third one is much more uh, like object-oriented, you know? Uh, but they, 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 they produce the, 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 same, the same result. Uh, I have an example to let you understand a little bit better. Uh, Just to put your attention about the fact that JSON string are stored with quotes. So we, we, you can choose what kind of, of result you need to manage with quotes, without, 
So this is a simple query. That, uh, I want to uh, uh, select the name of a template, for example, with quotes, without quotes, with the short format, with the extended format, whatever. Um, yeah, this could be a little bit more interesting. Suppose we have created a new table to store uh, uh, template information. And we, we need to know uh, who are using and what kind of template for uh, a template developer, templater, for example. Co combining uh, some uh, cool uh, j uh, JSON function, you can produce this kind of result. I think it's quite understandable, this query. You need to ask something about this query? Okay. Um, yeah, just another example of a JSON function. It's quite self-explanatory. Uh, you have a, 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 a simple object, JSON object, and you, you can simply, using a JSON function, replace that simple object in a more complex object that is made about an object and an array. Quite simple. But uh, JSON columns are not directly indexable. Uh, starting from uh, MySQL 5.7.11, I think, <coughs> Uh, MySQL uh, uh, introduced the JSON the, the native data support and then introduced another cool feature that is called generated columns. There are two types of generated columns, virtual, which is a default, and stored. A virtual column uh, is calculated on the fly when you read your data. So there is no store, it not, it's not stored in the table this data. And this kind of fields of generated field column can be used for secondary index. <coughs> Obviously, some spaces is added to the index. Uh, in the green box, you see the syntax to create a generated column fields. Uh, the the standard way, uh, the the the. the is calculated when a record is written on the table, is updated on the table. And this kind of field can be used for have a unique index. Obviously, a stored generated column, the, 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 the word tells already, needs space. Uh, um, just in, in a moment, I, I, I will tell you an example of how to create a generated column. Uh, our famous uh, JSON templates table, uh, just a template table. Uh, supposing that we, we need to, to know which is the much most famous, much more vendors about templates, why not you create a, an index upon this column? This is the MySQL way to create an index upon a JSON. I want you to note I'm, I'm using an expression. So a generated column is calculated. You, you can use whatever uh, meaningful, correct uh, MySQL expression to generate a column. It can be, can be used all, not only on JSON. You can use what, what kind of field do you want with, uh, with whatever <coughs> uh, MySQL function? Uh, it's clear what I'm doing in the, the query? Okay. Can I ask, they have one vendor for the template. But Sorry? You've got one vendor for the template. What if your JSON data has multiple... Like yeah, this yeah. Is this is a silly example. Yes, you, 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 you can you can do you can do depending upon what what is the design of your JSON object. You can do this is only a silly example. You, you then have multiple columns. It, it, it depends. Or? It depends. What what is your need? You can do in different ways. 
depends upon what is exactly you need. You can find what is the, the best design that adapt and suits your, 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 use, your use case. Uh, okay. Do you like spaghetti western? Do you know this picture? Okay. So, which is the, the good things about JSON in uh, relational database? Oh. We can have a document stored in a relational database. Quite simple. We can use dynamic structure, even if I don't think about words about dynamic structure or schema like structure. It's something like trendy words, but they are not so mean. But for developer that are used to manage object and JSON, it's quite faster to develop new code because they, they, they know better than the, the data management uh, people JSON, how to manage JSON. Uh, another cool aspect is that this kind of uh, data structure can be really useful when you need to do some kind of complex migration. Okay, so which is the bad part? And that is. The bad part is that there is no standard. So if you want to put your, you put part your code, uh, you need to use some kind of, uh, I think Laravel has some kind of object relation mapper that can manage this, but I'm not so sure if it's working correctly. And another bad aspect, and you need to do something new. So you, you can have a learning curve starting at, the, at, the, at an edge very hard, but it's not so hard. Oh, sorry. Ah, I think I'm confused a little bit too. If you have any questions, I'm available. Is it possible to search inside this one? Yeah, of course. Yeah, you, you can use without, without yeah. using regular expressions. Sorry? Without using regular Yes, 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 yes. I I I uh, okay. uh, okay. uh, in that way the a JSON field is like any other field in a relational database. It's like an integer. You can do whatever you want. You just need to use the, the specific function to do your, your job. So, would this be as performant as maybe Mongo? Oh, in, in mm -hmm. uh, this is my question. It depends upon, upon your design of your data. So, I, I want to stress about this. Because it's really, really important to design your data correctly for your application, for your user case. Well, so, in this example, silly, I've just created an index on the vendor, because my, my most, uh, mo most user query is wh which kind of uh, template vendor they are. But in, in, another, in another field, maybe it's not the correct approach. Uh, if you have any questions, I'm all available all the day. And if, if you just uh, ask me. That's um, how, how do you think people should deal with the, sort of the migration from one to the other, because obviously, if you're writing for components, mm -hmm. a large number of users won't have access to this facility yet because they're running old versions of SQL, and others will. So, yeah. yes. what's your thought about the management uh, migration? It depends. It depends on what, what, what are your requirements. If you are free to choose a, an environment, maybe this is, is, is a, a, a path to follow, maybe. Yeah, if you're selling a product or you're offering a product yeah. to you, then you haven't got that choice. So. No, you can have a choice. You have a choice. You can say uh, this product works in this kind of requirements. Joomla have a, a, a low requirements, but if you are doing some, some kind of complex, some kind of particular, you can make your requirements more, more high. Uh, if you have some mission critical uh, application, you, you can stay with uh, PHP uh, 5.3. No, you, you need to go to PHP 7, for example. No, so it's not something like it's a mainstream, but in particular situation, maybe it can be very useful. And if you have um, uh, your people are skilled uh, about relational database, and you don't no, you don't have knowledge about NoSQL database. It's a good way, it's an, an hybrid, hybrid way, but it's maybe a, a, a way to, to, to test, to give it a try. Because it, it can open a, a, a different possibilities. Yeah. 
What about graph database is like Neo4j, uh, which is a much more JSON linked data native? Um, are there any attempts to, to, to go in that direction? Uh, Neo4j, uh, this is a, a different aspect. Because it, it, it's quite about uh, more relational data relation better this. You, you, you are designing graphs. You are, you, are, you are storing relationships. So it's a, a little bit a different approach. Yeah, but it solves all the problems yeah. you have with relational yeah. databases. Yeah. Uh, it depends on what, what, what are your needs, what are your requirements. You need to make uh, uh, some recommendation site, some kind of recommendation uh, uh, application, maybe imagine uh, Amazon. When you look at page, it makes some recommendation. This is made about graph, made about Twitter, for example. This is follower, your followers, uh, your friend's follower is more about relationships. So it's a little bit, for me, um, a different concept. So JSON is quite a bit uh, a general purpose. Uh, a graph database is something that is um, specifically uh, <coughs> most be best used about relationships. So it can use JSON, but the, 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 mo the, 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 <coughs> the most focus is about relationships, not about structure. It's about relationships. Any other question? Thank you very much for your attention.